Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zach here with Metroid Dread. Now, I think this is probably the first like Metroid game I've played in quite a while. This That's probably true for everyone though. Uh, but I picked it up. Don't feel like playing Pokemon, so I thought I would tech, check out Metroid Dread and give you uh, the first 10 minutes and my opinions afterwards. So, if you want to see some more Metroid Dread from me, maybe a playthrough, or want to tell me what you think about Metroid Dread, let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We're gonna just leave these settings how it is, and get into the game. I will probably cut out most of the cutscenes, uh, and just show you raw gameplay, because I feel like the cutscenes might spoil something for some people. Or it might be something that people want to see by themselves. So I'm going to cut those out. Okay. I think here we are. So basically, like, the intro just kind of summarizes the first four games. In, like, a minute or two. Now we're jumping right in. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains unstable. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, you can be in contact. Many checkpoints waiting. That's better. All right, so we're starting off. Jump. Do you like the melee? The melee. Ooh, look at me already finding secrets. I don't like that thing. What is that thing? What does that do? Oh, it's a refill ammo. I like the suit though. The suit looks dope. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings in the quad ever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a choice of the attackers. I, I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is... This planet appears to consist of multiple ships. Location is marked on your few main counter pockets of low temperature. Your metro DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any time. So 
we just hit the first save point. X while running. Okay. What? There's a hidden item here. Look at that. Missile tank. Okay. I think this might be where we first face Emmy. Ooh. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I think I messed up. I think I messed up. So don't go back. Okay, so you can shoot during the slow-mo slides. Okay, so none of our stuff hurts him. Hurts it. Uh, why? Why is it so beat up? Space Jam style, like st steal that thing's power. The energy from a central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega cannon. Omega blaster on an eye.
Okay, so maybe... This is what we need. What the f- <laughs> I thought I was supposed to go that way. to like use the stick as like the angle Ooh, okay that's how we bop it that's how we bop it. Ooh, so we lost the cannon. So how often are we gonna have access to that? Okay, so there's one more on the map. Okay, so we can go down. Oh, it's cold in there. That's... Oh, so this is, oh, this is the one we saw in the cutscene.
another tank. So, I didn't respond that much, but I, I'm definitely interested in the game. Uh, it's My first reactions are always pretty, like, mute because are kind of bland, not really that detailed because I'm kind of, like, soaking everything in. I'm listening to the sounds. I'm trying to figure out the game. It's not something that I can, like, uh, there's some things that I naturally want to, like, try when starting a new game so but so far i think it's really good uh, i've only played probably about i mean it says we're at 26 minutes but i don't think with all the cutscenes and stuff and how many times i died for the stupidest reasons but i think emmy is going to be a challenge i think it's going to add a like unique process of like puzzling of trying to like escape i like the the ability to like smack a person uh, I do think uh, the aiming is gonna gonna be something to get used to, and I think that's because like, I like with the angle, you like in some of those cutscenes, it's it's not completely 2D, but it's still treating that aiming system as 2D, where you take your stick, and you basically have to like, if you want to go, um, like completely left, you go this way, and then you angle it up and down from like here so the pivot is kind of like not natural to me at the moment but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'm definitely going to check out more of this game i'm going to play it on the tv back there and hopefully have some fun and i hope you guys enjoyed this too if you did don't forget to like and subscribe mostly do pokemon content but if you want to see more dread from me let me know but until next time i'm zach we'll see everyone later